Guys, let's be real, the AI art space is absolutely taking off at unprecedented rates right now. Just yesterday we saw the release of quite possibly the best and most insane AI art generator ever by Stability AI Stable Diffusion 3. And now in today's video I want to take a look at the upscaler that is made in collaboration with Open Art and Stability AI. So this sort of goes hand in hand with their new Stable Diffusion 3, that by the way is also going to be coming to Open Art. Well, it'll be coming to all of you because it's going to be open source, but this is a creative upscaler that adds intricate new creative details to your image as well as making it more high res. We've seen upscalers like this in the past from the likes of Magnific AI and Crea AI. Magnifix was really good, but the pricing was just outrageously absurd. Crea AI was free, but the upscaling wasn't quite as good. Now I have to note, yes. Open Art is sponsoring today's video. However, they don't get to review the video at all before it's posted. And let me make things clear, my goal is to never waste your time with sponsorships. I only do sponsors that I genuinely think are going to be useful to you in some way. And this one is no exception. This is a industry changer. So everyone, welcome to the Open Art website. If you don't know what Open Art is, more or less this is the AI art creators hub. They have a ton of features to both generate art, upscale it, do all kinds of things with it, and it's also sort of like a social media platform as well. It was one of the first platforms to get Dolly 2 access, if you can believe that. Take a nice look at some of these examples here and you'll get an idea for what this is capable of. Any input image can be enhanced and creatively upscaled. I think it's especially telling with this one over here. You can see that the image on the left here doesn't have too much detail, but it's still a nice generation. And then it's really, really fleshed out by the creative upscaler over on the left. So yeah, to get started, I actually upscaled scaled this crown picture I had just laying around on my desktop. Obviously on the left we have the before and obviously on the right we have the after. This is a pretty good example of how these upscalers work. If I zoom in here on both sides, we can see that not only do we have a higher resolution image overall, but it added so much intricate detail to the image. It reimagined it, it made the diamonds more pronounced, more high definition, and overall it just really cleaned the image up while also being really true to the original. We can see the crown is very, very similar to that original. In fact, on first glance, they look almost the same. And this also shows off another really cool part about this. Obviously, this original image over here on on the left hand side is a 3D render where the one that we have on the left looks a little bit more realistic. So it's able to transform style and imagery as well. And that's something that we saw a lot with the original Magnific. Now pricing is another thing that we're gonna talk about later but it's absolutely a lot cheaper than Magnific and you will be very happy to see that. Again, this is in collaboration with Stability AI so the technology here is pretty darn good. So let's go ahead and try out some other images. Let's go ahead and take this Dolly 3 generation right here of a theoretical Matt Vidpro t-shirt design and give it a nice creative upscale. This is something that Magnific was pretty good at. Again, the whole point with creative upscale is that it does, in fact, add detail in. However, you'll note when we actually use it, they have something called an enhancement level, so we can turn it down to only subtle enhancements or really creative ones. Since this is a t-shirt design, I'm going to put it smack dab in the middle. You'll also see that you can generate a prompt for your image automatically, which is pretty cool. So they have some sort of image recognition going on there. Lemon wearing goggles and a pair of glasses with words, Matt VidPro on it. Okay, that's pretty good. So yeah, there is some time for generation here. It can actually take a little over two minutes per upscale, but this isn't really that new. Magnific is also pretty slow. So is Crea AI. These creative style large upscales just take a lot of compute power. It's nothing to be alarmed by. And all right, guys, we have our result. We can see if we zoom in, it's definitely a lot more high res. And I'm happy to say it preserved all of the text well, even the text that Dolly 3 kind of screwed up here towards the bottom. If we directly compare the original image with this one, we can see that most of the detail has been kept in. And obviously, as you slide that slider for creativity, you will lose more detail, but also gain more creative touches. So let's say we wanted to maintain some more of the shading in the corner of the lemon. Maybe we would lower that slider a little bit. Either way, I think it did a pretty darn good job. And this is absolutely a usable image. 
Here is a result created with Magnific, and I think that these two are pretty comparable. Maybe some more of that shading was still there with the Magnific upscale, but there's also a little bit of weirdness going on with the goggles that I'm not quite a huge fan of, and we see none of that with the open art upscaling. So now, guys, I want to touch on Stable Diffusion 3. As you guys know, this was announced yesterday, and we got a bunch of sample images from Stability AI, and a lot of them are lower resolution, such as this one. So can we use this new upscale? that was actually created in partnership with Stability AI to get a better idea of the kind of results we'll get out of a true Stable Diffusion 3 model. Because again, these all just come from the base model. What's great about this too is we can use the original prompt. So this is epic anime artwork, wizard on the mountaintop, etc, etc. And we'll leave the creative upscale pretty high for this one. I'll put it like 0.85. And while that one's generating, we'll get another one going. We'll try this cinematic shot with the apple and the text that says, go big or go home. We'll also grab this one as well. Remember, this is the one that Stability AI's model SD3 actually beat Dolly 3 with in my video yesterday. And finally, I want to do this real high detailed close up of a chameleon because that's just going to look so sweet upscaled. So first up, we have the Stable Diffusion 3 upscale, and I think that the results really speak for themselves. Just look at how much more detail we're getting out of the image as a whole. You can zoom in so much farther. Actually usable for projects. Now you'll notice with the wizard casting this Stable Diffusion 3 in the sky spell, he is a little bit different in comparison to both of these, but remember this is a creative creative upscale, so we should expect results like this, unless we want to lower that little slider. It really stuck with the anime art style, though. I think it did amazing things to the mountaintop over here. Really, really fleshed it out. The clouds also look pretty darn amazing, and so do the mountains in the background and everything. Really impressed by this. Of course, though, the text has to be my favorite part about it. It looks so glowy and ethereal. Just really, really makes me excited to use this in combination with Stable Diffusion 3 once it releases. And like I said, it will be releasing on open art, so you'll be able to just plug it in directly. Huge difference here. I think you can tell that it was made in partnership with Stability AI. All right, now here we have the Apple, and this one I was a little bit worried worried about because you can see there are some blur in the background and oftentimes these creative upscalers will try to make it crystalline and clear. And I'm happy to say that for the most part, it did a really, really good job at just keeping that background nice and blurry while we have real nice crisp details on the apple. Oops, did not mean to scroll through all those. But yeah, nice crisp details on the apple there. It maintains everything that we're looking for in the original image while also just pumping it full of realism and detail, making it look like a shot that I would honestly think is just legit. Like, that that looks like a real image. And this one does too, but it doesn't have the resolution that this one has to really make it convincing. Like, I gotta be honest here, I don't, I don't see any flaws anywhere in this image. You can see it actually fixed up some of the coherency from the original generation. Talk about perfection. I'll, I'll say it again. It really, really shows that they worked with Stability AI to bring this upscaler forth. So next up, we have the astronaut pig and Robin image. Again, over here on the left, we have the original. If we zoom right into that astronaut, we can see that it really, really did maintain to the original. I am super impressed by this result. Now, this image right here, I will note, we lowered the creativity slider almost all the way down, so it maintained to that original prompt, because my first generation saw some issues, and I will show it to you guys. But yeah, like, the tutu looks really great, the pig's feet look awesome, it even fixed one of the uh, hallucination details that we can see in the original. The text all the way in the corner, shockingly, and this is what I was really worried about, actually looks really nice. It's the same exact color on this, it's spelt correctly, it's very usable. You can note while the robin looks a little bit different, it still very much looks like a robin and it definitely has a little bit more detail. Overall, this is absolutely the most difficult upscale I think that we'll see today and it pretty much nailed it. Really impressed. Here is the creative upscale with that same image. I think that we get a little bit more detail for sure. The pig looks really, really nice in this one, I think. However, the astronaut also has been transformed into a pig, so those are some extra details that maybe we don't want, and that's why you gotta move that slider down a little bit. And again, the robin just got turned into like this... I don't even know, space mech thing. So while it is more detailed, it's not the details we're exactly looking for. So that's why that slider is so important. 
And now here we can see the chameleon. We can see there's definitely a huge difference in detail between the two, especially on the skin and scales down here. Really, really nice on the upscale. However, you'll note there is a little extra eyeball that doesn't need to be there that it added in. Again, this could be an issue with the creativity. The two eyes aren't exactly right. This one doesn't really represent a chameleon's eye as much. I think the arm looks pretty awesome, but also we have an extra growth arm that's coming out of the chameleon. So with this one, I think we need to do another upscale and just reduce that creativity slider a little bit. And with this result, I think it came out a lot better. Again, we still have tons of that intricate detail, really nice and close up. No hallucination with the eye, although it did add a nose. And honestly, I think the original might have been missing that anyways. Now the eyeball is a lot closer to the original. I don't know if this is more accurate to a real chameleon eyeball or not, but I think it definitely looks pretty good. You'll see we have no extra limb over here and some nice extra detail in that arm. I think this one looks the best taking a step back. It really fills the image out and makes it feel more like a real photograph. Again, this upscaling goes hand in hand with this new SD3 stable diffusion model. So some of you might have noticed down here, it says max five images daily, 10 credits per generation for now. Open art does go by a credit based system with a monthly plan as many websites do. So you have to have at least have their starter plan, which is 12 bucks per month, but it goes all the way down to six bucks a month if you do build annually. And usually you don't get 50% off when you build annually. So that's kind of huge. So this does get you 5,000 credits per month, but again, you're still limited to to five upscales a day, which is around 150 images per month. And this creative fancy upscaling is very computationally expensive. So it makes sense that they would limit it like this, especially as more and more users start to utilize it. I do think in comparison to Magnific's plan, this is an absolute steal. For $40 per month at their smallest deal, you can only do 200 normal upscales per month, which is only 50 more than you get with the open art creation creative upscale. And again, the creative upscale is $12 a month build monthly or $6 a month build yearly. So that's less than half the price. That's almost one third the price, right? Magnific has always been expensive and they haven't budged on pricing. So in my opinion, I would use open art every day of the week over Magnific just because of the price alone. I would never pay $40 a month to use that. Not to mention that uh, Magnific only does upscaling where open art, well, you're getting all of these features and more. You can train your own custom models. They have real time drawing. They have image to prompt, image expansion, obviously image generation. They have a ton of community based models that you can use as well. These are all fine tunings of SDXL. So there's so much more value here on open art than you get with Magnific. And open art really is a great website. They're a top competitor when it comes to these AI art generation websites. And I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of this video, but they've been around for a long Long time. They've always been first to the podium on features. Very competitive. So yeah, guys, tell me what you think. Is this going to be sort of the perfect combo for Stable Diffusion 3 images? I think that you can definitely see that Open Art's creative upscaler is made in collaboration with Stability AI. The future of AI art is so exciting and there's so much going on. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.